Hey, beautiful. Hello, my beautiful Aqua gang. How are you doing today, honey? I've been missing y'all, like literally, even though y'all don't really talk to me. <laughs> I've been missing y'all. So, uh, excuse me. So I told y'all that I've been ordering decks, ordering new decks, adding decks to the collection. <sighs> Sorry. Add index to the collection and all that good stuff. So, we gonna, no, we don't want to burn that up. So, today, since I got my new deck, I was like, ooh, I want to do a reading using my new deck. So, of course, y'all already know I pulled cards for me using this deck. And, baby, they were spot on. So, why wouldn't I share it with my Aqua family, honey? Oh. That didn't even want to shuffle. See, I knew that is. But, yeah, y'all, I was like, why not? Let me just tap in some of this energy real quick. So, I meditated before the reading started, of course. And so, we're just going to get some cards. We'll pull some clarifiers. I really honestly, hold on, y'all. I really honestly only want to use, like, the three newest decks that I bought. But if I need to pull out some tarot and some other cards, y'all know I will. All right, Spirit, let's go ahead and get into it. What messages do we have for my Aquarius Collective? Two more cards, Spirit. What messages do we have for my Aquarius Collectives? And y'all, I'm going to read the messages out the guidebook for y'all so y'all can get the exact message. Or, you know, do my own little interpretation, but... Y'all know. Look at this. That car want to come. I should have pulled it. Spirit, two more cards, please. They so big, y'all. If y'all order this deck, just so y'all know, these are so big. They are hard to, like, shuffle like this, like, for a long time because my hand is hurting. <laughs> Already my fingers are feeling like... They're burning. So maybe I should stop showing. And as soon as I say that, I get two cards out for y'all. So at the bottom of the deck, we have stars. Because that's us, period. The stars. Stars. You can manifest your every wish. Absolutely, Aqua. You can manifest your every wish. Believe in your own magic, honey. I'm going to read that one first. We're going to go ahead and pull them up. So at the bottom of the deck, we got stars. And it says, you can manifest your every wish. It's time for you to take your goals and turn them into your reality. Create that dream board. Wish on those shooting stars. Write in a daily manifest manifestation journal. Cast a small or large spell. The universe is waiting to give you exactly what you deserve, given that it's best for everyone involved. Keep in mind that you also need to believe that you deserve it. I just told y'all, believe in your own magic. I don't know why I just put this down. So first out, we had villain. You can always rewrite the story. So Aquarius, whatever you're going through right now, whatever you feel like, you know, is not going your way, is not what you plan. Always remember, you can definitely rewrite this story um, a million different ways if you choose to, honey. So, villain, rewrite the story. You can always rewrite your story. Villain, you can always rewrite the story. A hard truth to swallow. Sometimes our villains win. However, that doesn't mean you should give up or lose all hope. It just means that it's time to rewrite the story and keep going. It can be incredibly freeing and empowering to reclaim yourself after a personal tragedy. Period. And that's number 38, 8, 9, 10, 11. Y'all know we're not going to break 11 down, but we can. That's obviously two. Teamwork, honey. Work together. Rewrite your story. Pull out that journal, honey. Like it said, manifest. Create. Create a vision board, y'all. I was just supposed to do a vision board, but I literally just made one during the last, uh, this most recent full moon so yeah make y'all some vision boards honey maybe we should do that together i tried to make one together with y'all did nobody come in alive whatever we got number nine phoenix how's that hap how's that for a happily ever after period how's that for a happily ever after honey take take this period 
Phoenix, how's that for a happily ever after? No matter how hopeless you may be feeling at this moment, know this, you can and will survive whatever trials you've been put through. From the ashes of the past, you shall create a storybook ending filled with beauty and resilience. All future flames will cower when they hear the whisperings of your name. Period, Aqua. And lastly, we got Lioness number 13. That obviously breaks down to number four, which is stability. Um, you know, practicality, solid foundations, loyalty, creating stable surrounding or a stable environment for you and your loved ones or just for you. Honey, but yes, Lioness, honey, this giving me Leo energy. You've earned all your stripes. Absolutely. Let's pull that up. Lioness, you've earned all your stripes naturally. Sometimes with growth comes a little scarring. You've come incredibly far and you should be proud of the person you've become. Think of your scars not as a reminder of the pain you've had to endure in the past, but as proof that you can that you can survive anything period i was so ready to get it out i couldn't even say it and then number five um at the bottom of the deck five is obviously about conflict change tension so maybe you need to change something around you change your mindset at the bottom of that we have gray endings are inevitable so yeah maybe you need to end something with somebody or something is ending soon Seven and three is 10. So there's definitely completion and renewal. And then we also got number three, which is tower. Unplug and relax for a spell. So yeah, some of y'all definitely might need to unplug, relax for a, a spell, honey. Swim away from the situation. Absolutely. You also got, you can be your own knight and shine in armor. Thanks. Y'all, we don't have to keep going. Cause y'all see what's coming in. Y'all see, y'all got to let some shit go. You need to manifest. You need to, honey, release. Writing your journal. I don't know. Let's get some sacred self-care oracle messages. Spirit, why is villain here? Spirit, why is villain here? I think it said meditate, y'all. It flipped. I didn't want to take it though. Too many. Spirit, why is villain here? Show me one card. One card, Spirit. Why is villain here? And I got two. Oh no, I got one. Yeah, you need to ground yourself. Look at her. On the ground, outside, by the water, holding earth in her hand, holding rocks in her hand, honey, manifesting, honey, rewriting her story. She looks like she about to smash this shell, honey. So, Aquarius, if you're dealing with somebody to do music, I don't know why. This is like a music shell, and she about to smash it. She's tired of hearing that same old song. Rewrite the tune, baby. Period. That's what that's saying. Ground yourself. Number 25. Two and five is seven. Seven is about understanding, you know, your spirituality, your knowledge, getting back in tune with yourself, getting back in touch with yourself. Aquarius, it's definitely time to ground yourself at this time, honey. I told y'all to go outside yesterday or the day before, whatever day that was. I told y'all, get your ass outside. Y'all need to go outside, Aquarius. Ground yourself. Mantra. I am grounded, stable, and strong. Come into the present moment, connect with the earth, and stabilize yourself in a harmonic state through grounding. This practice helps you integrate higher messages and callings by bringing them fully into your physical body through the earth's energy field. To ground yourself, sit or walk barefoot on the ground. Meditate on the sensation of connecting with the earth. Close your eyes and imagine your body growing roots into the ground. Visualize the roots going deep all the way to the center of the planet. Picture yourself drawing in the energy from the earth's core and using it to nourish your body, mind, and spirit. When you open your eyes, allow yourself to feel calm, centered, and clear. You can also ground yourself by eating a nourishing meal that contains root vegetables, gardening, shaping, shaping things with clay. Let me start that over. You can also ground yourself by eating a nourishing meal that contains root vegetables, gardening, shaping things with clay, or spending time in nature. Find an activity that makes you feel fully present in your body and appreciative of the connection you have to earth. John prompt. How do you feel after taking the time to, to connect with the earth physically and through a visualization meditation? And then at the bottom of the deck, we got spend time with friends. Yeah, let's see. Spend time with friends. Definitely. 
if that makes you feel grounded, if that clears your energy, if you and your friends need to get together, you know, spend time together, maybe y'all need to, um, you know, get together, set up a time to make some vision boards. If you got to do it with your friends, if you got to bring your friends along, hey, friends, let's make some vision boards. Hey, friends, let's get creative and make vision boards. Let's talk about our dreams and our goals and our ideas. Let's talk about how we can elevate ourselves. Let's talk about how we can elevate our minds. Yes, that's what y'all looking for, Aqua, period. Spend time with friends. I am surrounded by loving reflections. Absolutely. Your friends are a reflection of you, period. Look at them sitting there doing tarot together, reading cards together, honey. Some of you and your friends may be spiritually connected. Maybe y'all like to, you know, sit together and do this. A witch circle, <laughs> if you will. Absolutely. Yes. Got the snacks, period. Got the tea. Okay, period. Got the crystals out. Got the earth, you know, elements out. Absolutely, y'all. Friends are one of the greatest gifts in life. Plan a time to meet up with your friends in person to do something fun, even if it's only the simple act of sitting around and talking about what's going on in your lives. If you've been out of touch with friends who keep coming up in your thoughts, make sure you get caught up with them. Reach out to a friend who lives far away. Share the best of what's happened to you both and see what you can learn from each other to propel you forward on your journeys. To call in more fun and a more profound sense of connection, plan a goddess circle with your besties, period. A goddess circle, honey. I told y'all, a circle of the witches. <laughs> Bring your friends together to share wisdom and experiences around a theme or arrange a ritual to celebrate the new moon, full moon, or solstice. Journal prompt. Are there new friends you want to call in? If so, write out the qualities that these new friends hold to help usher in their arrival in your life. Period, y'all. So if y'all ain't got the friends that y'all want around y'all, definitely, honey, journal about it. Manifest these friends that y'all want. Why is Phoenix here? Why is Phoenix here? Show me one card. Why is Phoenix here, Spirit? We got two, y'all. At the bottom of the deck, we got chanting. Look, y'all need to meditate. Y'all need to ground y'all self. Y'all need to get back in touch. Yeah, y'all need to get back in touch, honey. So we got sweet treat. I just talked about treats and spend time with animals. That's still getting out in the earth. Spend the time in the earth. Spend the time with nature, honey. Period. Some of y'all might love animals. She got a spider on her. She got a butterfly on her. Bird, owl, honey, a dog, a squirrel, a cat, period, okay? Some of y'all might like bacon. Bacon sweet treats. So we got a sweet treat and spend time with animals. How's that for a happily ever after? So, so the how's that for a happily ever after card, it was really like, you know, rewriting your story from ashes, creating the, you know, life that you know you deserve. From ashes to ashes, dust to dust, I just heard. So some of y'all might be casting spells. <laughs> some of y'all might be baking spells to call somebody to y'all. I don't know, take how it resonate. But honey, we're going to read what Sweet Treat talking about. Sweet Treat, life is sweet to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're manifesting a life that's sweet to you. You're manifesting a life where you get to spend more time doing what you love to do. Spending time with the animals, spending time with your friends, meditating yourself, calming yourself, rebalancing your energy, regaining your strength. Absolutely. Indulging in a sweet treat every once in a while so that it remains truly special can be so good for the soul. This is not the time to restrict calories. This is about treating yourself to something delightful. Head to your favorite bakery to pick up something tasty or ask a friend or family member for a special recipe that you can make at home. Set an intention and infuse good energy into your sweet creation. Treat the process of making it and eating it like a sacred ritual. Whether you eat it alone or share it with loved ones, before you take that first bite, say a prayer to express your gratitude for the nourishment and joy it will provide. Be sure to savor every second and keep your mind clear while eating it so you can experience it mindfully. Journal prompt. What is your favorite food to indulge in? What does it remind you of and how does it make you feel? Period. And let me jump back to 
48 for spending time with animals animal guides are present in my life providing protection sharing wisdom pointing me in the right direction and teaching me the ways of unconditional love the association between animals and spiritual guidance has a long history animals are known for their ability to share wisdom send us messages and be our guardians if you have pets spend time with them and give them lots of extra affection Allow their unconditional love to infuse itself into your being. If you don't have pets, get creative about how you can spend time with animals. Visit a friend or a family member who has pets. Go outside to observe cute little critters in their natural environment. Watch funny cat videos. Volunteer at a local shelter. Foster an animal. Pet sit for a friend. Or call in an animal guardian during your next meditation. Keep an eye out for animals showing up in daily life, such as when you spot a bird, snake, frog, dragonfly, or a spider. Take a moment to go within first and find out what that animal means to you or under what circumstances you have encountered it before. Then look up the meaning of the animal and ancient wisdom teachings for additional guidance on what its appearance in your life may signify. Trust your intuition when decoding the message this creature holds for you. Journal prompt. What is your fondest memory of connecting with an animal and why? Period. Yeah, y'all need to get back out there in nature, honey. Maybe maybe y'all need to call in y'all, y'all um, you know. Spirit guides are your animal guide. Absolutely. Well, this is what you're doing. You're asking for help. You're reaching out for help. You're deciding to rewrite this life. You know you don't got to deal with this. Okay, Aqua. Let's go see what chanting is about, honey, because you're meditating. Yes. Chanting. My voice is heard. Dream journal. Yes. Yeah, some of y'all need to get back in your dream journal. You need to use your hands. You need to use your hands. Y'all can't even see that. You need to use your hands. You got deep breathing under here. Make an altar. Some of y'all, if you haven't made an altar yet, you definitely need to make an altar. Some of y'all might need to take a walk, honey. It's time to nourish your temple. It's time to eat better so that you can think better, so that you can breathe better, so that you can be better, honey. Soak in a bath. Something to soak in a bath. Do some self-care rituals, some self-love rituals, honey. Absolutely. Connect with earth. Go outside and get back connected with earth, y'all. It's definitely, definitely important that you guys stay connected, stay grounded, stay tapped into your energy, honey. Because, baby, when you are not tapped in that energy, y'all know how it feel. Y'all know how we feel when we out of our element. Get back into your energy. Chanting. My voice is heard. <laughs> That's funny. I wrote that in my journal today. If you're new to chanting, you can start with learning to tone OM and the sound for each chakra. At first, practice chanting on your own to gain a level of comfort. Crown chakra, I don't know OM, OM. <laughs> Throat chakra is HAM, YAM, RAM, VAM, LAM. Okay, y'all look them up. Experiment with different tones, noticing which ones come easily and feel challenging. Free yourself from worrying about how you sound, period. See, I ain't worried about that if y'all if y'all mad about it, period. <laughs> Allow your unique voice to resonate and express itself. When you're ready to go deeper and experience the sensation of chanting in a group, look for a local singing, chanting, or curtain event. Most yoga studios will include chanting as part of the practice, typically at the beginning or the end of the yoga class. You can also pioneer the effort within your community and gather some loved ones who are willing to chant with you. This activity is especially fun to try in an enclosed space that has a loud echo or outside surrounded by beautiful nature. Journal prompt. What blocks, real or imagined, prevent you from chanting? What practical steps can you take to eliminate these blocks? Okay, we're going to get one more card. We're going to find out why Lioness is here. And then we're going to see what's under that. We're going to get a message from the Rebel deck. And then we're going to close it out. Spirit, why is Lioness here? Spirit, why is Lioness here? Give me one card. Why is Lioness here? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, about to drop some shit. Spirit, why is Lioness here? Show me one card. Okay. 
abundance planning yeah period you've earned all your stripes period look at you in your bag reading about how to you know plan your abundance reading about how to manifest this abundance look at the stars period look at us period period aqua look at the stars it say look to the stars, but <laughs> Spirit said we are the stars, okay? So, yeah, abundance planning. Y'all are definitely probably, you know, budgeting now or you're deciding to budget your money better. You're budgeting your finances and your income better. You're definitely um, saving for something. You're saving for rainy days, traveling, honey, birthdays, Christmases. Definitely, if some of you guys have started budget um, budgeting or a budget journal, um, tap in, honey, tap, tap, tap in, because I have as well. I have started cash envelope stuffing, and I also have a budget binder now. I have two budget binders now. So I have a, you know, like a daily that goes in my purse, and I have one that stays here for the bills. So if you guys are interested in those kind of videos, let me know, and I will start posting those. But, yeah. Some of y'all are definitely planning better, planning, you know, balancing your money better, budgeting your money better, honey, spending your money more wisely. Y'all are not out here with the bullshit, period, abundance planning. I attract a level of abundance in alignment with my self-worth and reflective of my generous nature. Your financial health is an essential aspect of your overall wellness practice. It's time to take a closer look at how you're spending, saving, and making money. To begin, review all your bank accounts, investments, and credit cards, as well as any loans you're carrying. Doing so will help you get clear on your financial status. Then make a practical plan to lower your expenses, increase your income and savings, and repay your debt. An excellent place to start is at your local bank with a financial advisor. Work with your bank advisor, work with your bank or advisor to optimize your accounts to have the lowest fees and the highest interest rates possible. In addition, you can get set up with automatic bill payments, transfer monthly deposits into a savings account, and begin consolidating any debt you may be carrying. The other side of your financial abundance equation is generating more money. When you put your energy toward it, you'll often find new ways to do so. If you're working, this can be achieved by negotiating a raise at your current position, consider applying for a promotion or a new job, taking on a side gig, or educating yourself on a new topic or skill with income generating potential. If you're an entrepreneur, look into raising your fees or prices, developing new marketing strategies, and expanding your product offerings as well as other ways to increase your margins. Journal prompt. What was your family's relationship with money like when you were growing up? How has that impacted your relationship with money? Period. Yeah, like I said, y'all are definitely planning now. You're in this energy now. You're starting over. You're creating new abundance and new possibilities, new ideas for yourself. You're coming up with all these new ideas. You're journaling them or you need to journal them. You need to, you know, start planning, honey. You've earned all your stripes. You are the lioness, period. The star, as always. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. All right, and we got number 31 for look to the stars. The stars reflect my magic, period. Oh, connect with your womb, connect with crystals. Y'all need to get back connected with your body using crystals, I just heard. Okay, period. Because, yeah, when you meditate, when you do your grounding meditation, use some crystals. Whichever ones call you. Yep, whichever ones call you, honey. But look to the stars, number 31. Three and one is four. Again, this is stability. This is at the bottom of the deck, honey, period. As above, so below. This ancient of... Y'all know I can't say them kind of... <laughs> this ancient aphorism represents how our human experience reflects the movements of the stars and the universe. Just as our ancestors did, we can look to the heavens for insight into our shared experiences as people on this planet astrology is a powerful tool for recognizing patterns impacting the collective consciousness which we can often see play out among our friends family lovers community and our own life deepen your understanding of yourself and the astrological patterns through self-study or by working with a professional astrologer as you tune into the different astrological astrological seasons you can gain great insight into what energies are working in your favor this practice will allow you to flow with the energies instead of feeling like you are swimming in opposition to the currents of life journal prompt 
How can you best work with the current astrological season? If you're unsure what it is, take a moment to look it up and read what it's all about. Period. And we're going to leave that there. I'm not even finna. Okay. We're not going to keep pushing it. Spirit say, yeah, connect. <laughs> get connected. Get back grounded. Get back in your energy. Facts. Let's see what this rebel dad got to say today, honey. Because y'all know she don't bullshit. Sis don't bullshit. Sis come through with the come through. And hit your ass with the one, two. And you be like, who you? Okay, somebody deal with somebody that do music. Somebody fucking with a rapper. A rapper might be coming back into your life. He like the wine. <laughs> Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Aquarius Collective? What other messages do we have for the Aquarius Collective? Any more messages, Spirit? What other messages? What other messages do we have? Okay, yeah, she talking her shit. What other messages do we have, Spirit? <laughs> okay, we gonna take these. So at the bottom of the deck, we have... Stop texting, stop talking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. That's, that's what she says. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Okay, so whoever that message is for, that's who it's for. Under that, we have, you're the shit. You're the shit. Don't forget it. You're the shit. Let's see what's, what's at the top. What's at the top? Make it rain. Y'all, we keep getting this card, so I don't know. Well, I'm going to sit them right there and we're going to go ahead and see what the message is. Okay, whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. Okay, Spirit said now is not the fucking time for whatever the fuck you was thinking about doing. Spirit said sit your ass down, ground yourself. Get back in tune with you, honey. You too busy worried about what the fuck other people got going on. Fuck, see, shit is about to get real. Fuck, you need your people around you. Shit about to get real. It could get real in a good way. It could get real in a bad way. Either way, spirit is saying you need your people around you. Spend time with, you know, hell, you might need to spend time with spirit. I don't know. Say God resonate. They definitely calling you to meditate. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive. Let that shit go. Period. So whatever somebody did to you, whatever you're holding on to, y'all, I'm still getting this energy that somebody's holding on to her past pain energy. Yeah, that. Let it go. Because you winning. Period. Let it go. You got a good thing going. Don't don't ruin it. Okay? Don't ruin that shit. Okay? You got a good thing going, Aqua. And that's what somebody do know. That's what somebody do know. But what you need to do is make better fucking choices. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. You the only one that can take yourself to where you are. You the only one that can remove yourself from where you are. Or where you are for the grandma police. You're the only one that can take yourself there. And you're the only one that can remove yourself from there. The last card, you are giving too many fucks. That's what I told y'all. Give zero. Y'all giving too many fucks about what somebody doing around you. Fuck that. Fuck them. Move on. I told y'all this shit the other day. Spirit said, we're not going to keep telling y'all the same thing. Spirit, what's the advice for the Aquarius Collective? Your hard work is paying off. We're not going to take... Okay, these didn't even... Okay, that flipped. Okay, these all flipped. <laughs> so we're going to just stop. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. So some of y'all could be dealing with the Pisces. Take that how it resonates. But y'all definitely need to bring some balance into your spiritual practice and your practical life. Okay, period. A fiery climax is approaching. Full moon in Aries. You could also be dealing with an Aries. But Aquarius, it's time to step out of your comfort zone. Stop hiding behind that shell. Y'all know how we get. Y'all know how we try to fake shy. Y'all know all that shit. Y'all need to come up out of that. Yeah, because your hard work is paying off. That's what Spirit wants you to know. Your hard work is paying off. So, yeah. Bring love into the situation. It's time to love yourself, honey. It's time to love on yourself. Pour into yourself. Okay? New moon in Aquarius. Absolutely. 
Have faith in your dreams, Aqua. Have faith, have faith. Put a little love in your heart. Oh, I don't know where that just came from. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Nothing will come of this situation. Yeah, nothing will come of this situation if you continue to stay stuck where you are. If you can, if you continue to, you know, carry the same energy that you keep carrying with you every day. Of course, nothing will come of this situation. Especially, and that's how you think, and that's how you move, and that's how you show in spirit. That's how you want to move. But a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So some of y'all could be dealing with a Cancer, another Aquarius, a Capricorn, or a Earth sign. We have Earth, Air, Water. No fire out, but we did. I did see the lioness, so that did give me a little bit of Leo energy. So yeah, Aqua, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. I love you guys. I want you guys to stay safe, protect your energy, protect your space. Protect your minds, honey. Protect yourself from any... I'm taking stuff off the printer. Protect yourself from any and everything that's going on around y'all. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.